So how do you add an emissive layer to your Substance Painter project? And what does emission do? So emission adds light sources to a texture so that when you import that emissive texture into a game engine, you can add a glow or light source. So to begin, we're going to go to texture set settings. If you accidentally close texture set settings, you can go to window views texture set settings. We're going to click on the plus icon next to channels and then go to emissive. So this just allows us to create an emissive layer. Then what we need to do is we're going to create a new fill layer. I'm going to turn off everything except for emissive and I'll set the color to red so you can see it. And then I will right click on this new layer and add a black mask. And then what we can do is select whatever brush we want and just paint in grayscale on the mask to reveal the emissive color underneath. So by default, this is basically the result you want. Uh, now this is a quick, I'm just painting with this terrible looking brush just to quickly show it, but this, like once you export this, you can then adjust how much, how bright it is in a game engine like Unreal or Unity. And this is essentially the result you want. However, if you want to actually view something like view this as if it were being rendered, you have to go to shader settings. Or I'm sorry, you have to go to texture set or display settings, uh, activate post effects, and then activate glare. And then you have to go back to shader settings and go to emissive intensity. And then you can scale this up to actually view the emission. Now this is using a weird effect that's probably not gonna be standard. Uh, the, the most standard thing you'll probably run into is bloom, which you can change under the post effects glare. So this is close to what it would look like with a glare, and then you can increase or decrease the intensity in game engine. And this, like, even though we're viewing a glow right now, this is just rendering it. It's not actually changing the emissive map at all. So if I go to the texture, let's do this. If I go to the texture file, and I go down to material and go to emissive and we bump up the emissive intensity, nothing changes at all. This is actually what's gonna be exported, right? This emissive layer. So that's just one thing to keep in mind when working with emission because you might, you know, adjust, play around with these settings until you get the result exactly how you want it. But at the end of the day, uh, you just simply need to paint in the sections that you want emissive and what color you want them to be and export it and then play with it in the material editor of Unreal or Unity in this case. But this is how you get emission. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, I'm actually gonna be using emission in a tutorial coming up for this guy. This is just kind of like a quick way to get started. It's like, kind of like a standalone video. Um, you can also add color at the same time. So let's say we go back to this fill layer. We can add color to our emission. So now we have like white added. We can change this to something like orange. So now you have this kind of like lava effect where you have orange color with red emission and it kind of creates like a like a blend between the two, which can be nice. So this is kind of like quick and dirty lava. This is actually kind of like a, a spoiler for the next video. We're gonna be using something exactly like this to make this guy look cool and lava-like but this is how you do a mission and then once you export it you have to adjust your intensity and in unity and unreal or whatever uh, environment it's ending up in so that's it for this one uh, definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed this or found this useful drop a comment let me know what you think and also feel free to request any substance painter tutorials or zbrush tutorials because i'll be making a ton of those and i'll see you in the next one